Scott Walker brings in these outside ideas, these ideas that have nothing to do with Wisconsin. And what has he produced? What has he produced? Wisconsin, which was coming through the recession better than most other states, the Bush-Cheney recession, coming through better than most other states, Wisconsin ended up trailing our surrounding states and the rest of the country in our recovery from the recession. Scott Walker's policies stalled out Wisconsin's opportunity to grow rather than to be stagnant. If it hadn't been for Scott Walker's policies, this state would be doing better economically at every turn. We would be beating our neighboring states in job growth. We would have better income growth. We would have better opportunity. And the fact of the matter is that's not a Democrat or Republican reality. That's not a liberal or conservative reality. That is an economic reality. And Scott Walker's economics are a failure. We refuse to be with even the unions that represent the workers of the state during the great struggle of 2011. And yet would quickly take a call from someone they thought was billionaire David Cook. <laughs> and you understand this. This is the governor who's in the midst of the most critical challenges of his time. Right? The whole country is watching him. He doesn't have time to meet with unions. He doesn't have time to even try to think about compromise. He doesn't have time to try to even think about putting something together that might unite the state. No. He has time to spend 20 minutes on the phone with somebody he thinks is a billionaire campaign donor and to talk in the middle of that conversation about how politically effective it might be or might not be to send agent provocateurs out into peaceful mass demonstrations to disrupt those demonstrations and to create the fantasy that the union members were violent, that the union members were a problem, to talk about creating a lie that would benefit him politically. The fact of the matter was, is when David Cope, not David Cope really, but David Cope gave the call, when this caller asked him, have you thought about sending thugs out there? Have you thought about you know, stirring up these demonstrations where mothers have brought their disabled children, where grandmothers with walkers are out there, including one I saw with a fabulous walker. She was pushing along 84 years old, and the front of it said, at least this walker is useful. <laughs> where, there are, where there are children and grandmothers, all the great faces of Wisconsin are out there. And our governor is asked by an out-of-state billionaire, have you thought about sending thugs into that demonstration? And instead of saying, no, sir, I have never thought about that, and I find your asking me about that to be immoral and wrong, instead of that, Scott Walker said, well, we thought about it, but it just didn't seem like it would poll well. I don't want a governor who worries about his poll numbers when the health and safety of Wisconsinites are at stake. I want a governor who will tell a billionaire who is wrong that he is wrong and he shouldn't bring up violence, he shouldn't bring up doing harm to Wisconsinites. I want a better governor than this.